Hello and welcome back to Agrarian Skies 2. I'm Mara28 and today I am super freaking salty. Um, anyway, I've been playing on and off the past few days trying to record some stuff, and I did actually record an episode. Unfortunately, it's never going to see the light of day. Why will it not see the light of day? Well, apparently after logging out, the game didn't think I logged out and I starved to death while my computer was off. Because I was not on the server at 6.13 in the morning my time. So I've no idea how that happened. I am, however, extremely upset. <laughs> uh, pretty much everything ahead of me was is gone now. Um, I could pick up some of the pieces. The biggest loss, though, is going to be my uh, angel ring. Um, I th I hope I still have another star left. I I may not. If I do, I can remake it. But otherwise, I just I need, I need to kill another wither. Um, let's see. In line with picking up the pieces, we come on over here. Oops, got a little uh, flux up there. Um, I was working on a little way to get some free enchanting stuff using bees, actually. And I believe I might have some... Oh, I do. Okay, good. Wait, where did they go? I just shift-clicked and the bees just... Seriously? I guess it was only three. I thought it was... Bad font is bad. Alright. So we have six of the drones. That should be enough to fully convert a single princess into a, uh, into the proper bee. I hope this works. All right, and we do need to go ahead and get another princess. Um, let's go ahead and check this out. Yeah, because that didn't run any further. I just, I don't know. I'm so confused. And I'm so slow. Holy cow, this is terrible. Yeah, no. No, the star there. Oh, get up. <laughs> okay, we have another star. That's good. Alright, we're going to need feathers. And <laughs> we're going to need some of those uh, ingots. My division sigil is right there. Since I... And I'm starving to death. Uh, Starving, 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 starving. Yeah, I hear you in there. Alright. So first things first, let's go ahead and uh, put some more jerky in there. There we go, one stack's enough. This is like my favorite food generator ever. Alright, so it's a little bit more speed. Yeah, it didn't even give me any freaking uh, Yalorium, so yeah, no, something's funky going on there. I, I really don't know why I did that, I just know that it really freaking bugs me, and that's actually not the first time I've had this happen. That happened to me twice in my uh, Bevo's tech pack world. It didn't log me out even though I closed my client. I actually did the little escape, it's connect, all that. Didn't work. No idea why. Oh, hey, look at the moon. That's neat. Alright, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough of nature. Alright, so what we are going to do is the uh, super duper cheaty way of making this, which is using, I believe, gold... Gold, come on, gold. Gold nuggets. There we go. All right. Okay, so that's enough for a, uh, single ingot. Then for the ring, do we need two? Yeah, we need two. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, we need some more gold. And glass. Alright, so we got that back at least. That is a small comfort. Alright, so we have that back. We've got the uh, Omnomicon. Uh, before we do anything with Omcraft, let's go ahead and make a uh, sash so that we can walk faster and have step assist. That does take mana to function, which means we're going to need to get that mana mirror. Okay, so come on. And I'm just going to leave that there right now as a reminder of my terrible start. <laughs> Alright, so pop this open. You know what would actually be a nice thing to get started with too would be uh, blood magic. Sojourners. I need leather, rune of earth, rune of air, and mana steel. I can make leather with rotten flesh. Coal block, stone, and mushroom. Uh, we have an impromptu mushroom farm over here. I should probably automate this. Okay, so we got that. Uh, we're going to need a coal block. Get down the hole. Alright, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That was the wrong button. 9. Okay, got that. Stone. Stone's easy. We have stone right up here. Okay, now what do we need for the Rune of Air? String, Feather, Carpet. I got String. Um, if I have String, I have Wool. If I have Wool, I have Carpet, so Feather. Feathers might be a little bit problematic. Is there a way to craft Feathers? I have no feathers. That's not good, actually. It looks like there's a crop that you can grow to make feathers. But I really do not care for that particular style of agri crops. You know what? I might have something here. Chicken jockeys are a thing, right? Nope, they're not a thing. You know, I just need to capture a chicken and then auto-spawn it and kill it. <laughs> I have already captured a chicken, auto-spawn it, and kill it. Okay. It's great when you actually know what you've done. Alright, so let's come up here. Where do I have the alchemy catalyst? I have it over here, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead and make... Alright, so that's good. Um, I got the pink stuff here. I don't have regular... Uh, oh, I have a freaking stack of feathers here. Yep, I was totally on ball. Alright. You know, I just did, forgot to do something really, really bad. Well, not bad, but it was a really stupid thing to forget. Uh, I'm going to need to go get six iron ingots. Uh, have a mushroom, though. Bam. Today's episode is going to be kind of a little bit of a derpy one. I'm just, I've got to get back up to uh, where I was, and since I've lost that stuff, it's going to uh, take a little bit of work. Uh, so, besides that terrible death, which is. Which we're not going to talk about, I'm not going to sulk anymore. Uh, besides that, I've been doing a few things over the weekend, having a little bit of fun. I've been playing around with a uh, game called Warframe. It's uh, quite fun. It's extremely loud, but it's quite fun. Um, it's basically... <laughs> it's a 
space ninjas. What's what's not to like about that? I mean, really, what is not to like about space ninjas? Been playing a, a character called Excalibur. It's basically a uh, melee type thing with its abilities. You just basically run around spamming a sword attack. It's a uh, Amazingly effective and really, really fun in the right party. And I've actually enjoyed that game much more than I thought I would. It is a uh, free-to-play game, though. I really... Going with free-to-play, it's got the usual catch, which is... To progress, it is a very, very large grind. Or you could give them a little bit of money to go ahead. And I don't particularly want to give them any money. But it's... Some of that stuff in there it really is a freaking grind. So it's probably something that I'll play casually, if that. But it is fun. I do recommend at least trying it out. I started with the Excalibur build for my first one. I really recommend it. All right. All right, so we got that. We need string. Feather. Okay, and I might actually have a carpet over here. I don't. I didn't actually check that. Uh, no, I do not. Okay. Carpet. So, two wool is a carpet, three wool would be a slab. And luckily this thing is going really, really, really quick since we have a very large reserve of uh, mana in that pool. Could probably make this even quicker if I replace that with an elven spreader. I wonder if you can make a way to turn this thing on and off so it's not constantly draining mana. You could probably do that with a steep piston. That would be neat to do. Like only have it active when you're standing like right here or something. So you stand here, it activates, throw your stuff in, get your stuff out, walk away, and it turns off. No constant mana drain. Come on. Okay, so you are done. That is so loud. And I think I just made the classic mistake. I didn't need six mana steel. I needed seven mana steel. Sojourner Sash. Oh, that's better. That is more like what we're used to. The only downside to this is I think it takes a steady drain out of the mana pool. Um, I think that should be able to uh, more than keep up with us, so we should be okay. But now at least we got our speed back, and that is a big, big boost. Oh yeah. Actually, I think this might be faster than before. Yeah, this is faster. Okay, so that's good. Uh, before you Oh, I have to make more, uh... Gotta make another set of clothes. <laughs> I just realized that. Ah! Alright. Let's go ahead and make one one last thing. Uh, we'll get back out of here. Actually, you know what? This wants me to make a living wood wand. I don't believe I have the uh, research for that yet. However, that would actually be good to have. What would it take to make you? I think it might be an infusion thing, and that should be under uh, Forbidden Magic. Living Wood. Oh, yeah. That's a fusion. No, I'm not up to that rune crafting right now. <laughs> I need to do it at one point, just not now. Um, it also wants me to make a blazing. Is it rod or stuff? You know what? Let's just research it. Balanced shard. Blaze rod, fire shard. I think I have that. Yeah, does that want the rod or does it want the staff core? Just the rod. Okay, we need a blaze rod.
Get a little blaze rod going on. Blazoirs are actually also a really good source for uh, Brincantatio and fire, actually. Excuse me. Ignis. <laughs> it's, it's fire. Okay, so we got Ignis. I don't think I have Bastion. I'm not sure where you get that, actually. I can get it from eggs and silk mesh. Silk mesh has quite a bit of it, actually. I think that's my best bet, is silk mesh. Because I have a ton of cotton over in the little farm area there that we set up and forgot about. I need to get a balanced shard, which means we need to have... Uh... If I get one vial of each of those, I'll need four shards to be able to make four of the balanced ones. Alright, so we need this back. <laughs> So one water. Oh, I didn't want you to do that. I don't have enough to cook up air. I don't have enough to cook up ordo. I can cook one perdido. I should have Terra. All right. Um, I only need two of those, so what I'm missing right now is going to be Air, Ordo, and Perdito. No, I have Perdito. Air, Ordo, and... No, Air and Ordo. Okay. Uh, the easiest source of Air is going to be what? Sugarcane. Sugarcane is the easiest source of Air. And how about... Uh... Ordo. Probably ice. Actually, no, ice is gelum or gelum or whatever the heck it is now. I really like the idea of it being ordered water. <laughs> uh, yeah, coalescence core, order shards, Salus Mundus. Chiseled stone bricks. That's it. Right there, chiseled stone. All right, so let's get the stuff together for this wand of ours that we're going to make. Um, oh, I do need that. All right, so first things first, right? We're going to go ahead and throw in each of these. All right, so that should be empty now, and we have the uh, four balanced shards. It's actually really, really nice, because I can then use this to make... Uh, Salus Mundus, which is used for a lot of stuff, actually. Um, it's fairly easy to make. It's a little bit easier than I thought it was, to be honest. Uh, yeah, can't do that. <laughs> it is needed to make the uh, purifying bath salts, though, so that is good to have on hand. It's actually just used for a lot of stuff. Let's see, used for charged thomium caps. You need that. You need a bit of it, actually. You need it for the infernal wand. Well, infernal rod, excuse me. Uh, essential provider. Got one of those. Modified runic matrix. Huh. And one focus liquefaction. Here's a pro tip don't do liquefaction, it is a one way process. Alright, so we're gonna come on up here. Um, which one of these guys is due north again? I think it is. Uh, this one right here top right so we'll put a uh, balanced shard right there on this one we will put a fire shard and a blaze rod goes in the center bam hopefully this is the right setup <laughs> See, that spins properly over there, right? This thing over here is freaking out every now and then, and it looks like there's two of them.
Get back on there. Did it work? It worked. I think it worked. Blazing rod. Awesome. Now, this thing still needs caps and stuff for it to really do anything, so it's not going to be that great of a uh, item by itself. And for that, though, we get a quartz rod. The uh, quartz rod basically acting just like a uh, blazing rod, but for order, I believe. I don't know if there's anything that really recharges that you need a lot of order for, because it usually needs order in combination with something else. All right. Anyway, that didn't open up any more quests, unfortunately. Uh, wand caps does, though. They actually give you a thomium embossed silverwood scepter for crafting. That's pretty, uh, pretty nice. As is that. Alright, but I tell you what, I think this is probably going to be it for today for uh, this episode. This has already been a bit of a hinky thing. A little bit hinky. <laughs> Now that I have the the big draw for like the uh, blazing rod here is that when you make it into a wand or whatever, it actually recharges the uh, fire. What is it? It's fire aspect ignis whatever. It recharges the thing that makes things go burn. It recharges it up to like ten percent. So you can never run out of fire with this. So it's pretty nice. Um, can I just use gold caps on these, or do I need to use thalamium caps? Uh, it doesn't matter that is an arcane crafting recipe, is it not? I got distracted, I wanted to end the episode, but instead I find myself making something. Alright. You. And now I'm out of order. <laughs> I'm honestly amazed I did not kill that node before I got this wand. To go like diagonally? Yeah, 17.1. Okay. Uh, that means we're going to need to kill the uh, node up here too. Okay, that should be good enough. Come to the sad realization that the ladder, that the uh, <laughs> the ladders is probably the best way up and down. So, gold banded blazing wand. And this thing will slowly recharge its uh, amount of uh, fire very slowly exceedingly slowly does it need to have at least a little bit in there yeah it fires at six this is actually better than the one I've been using just a little bit yeah there it goes it just ticked up All right. Fire charge. Fire charge. Charge. Fire. <laughs> All right, need gunpowder.
Fire spell. No, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. I need fire shards. Luckily for me, I actually made extra nether bricks. So, for the finishing touch on our little new blazing wand, the, the gold banded blazing wand that we had here, we're going to go ahead and make a uh, wand cap for it. A focus wand cap. Yeah, that's totally, let's call it the thing that nobody ever calls it. Wand cap, sounds great. And then we get wand focus of fire. And then I believe it's, is it G or is it F? It's F. All right, and this is the perfect add-on for this wand, if only because this thing never runs out of fire. It'll always recharge. It'll always do good. The only downside is the only things I can really use the fire on are over here. <laughs> hey, guys. How you doing? I should feel bad for that. I don't. <laughs> Well, I just killed all my sheep. <laughs> Alright. You know, I gotta be honest, I don't feel guilty about that at all. <laughs> that was strangely satisfying. It's okay, eventually they'll respawn. Anyway, I want to go ahead and thank you for watching this episode of Agrarian Skies 2. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comment in the section below, and I will see you next time. With a little bit less more death, hopefully. Oh, I just set myself on fire. Okay, don't... Okay, don't do that. <laughs>